Okay, today I'm going to show you how you can disable um, non-essential services from running on your computer. Um, this can improve system performance by taking away services that are using up processing power and memory um, by yeah, software that you no longer use. So uh, let's go straight into it. There's uh, two ways we can access services. So the first way, the easiest way I find is go to the run menu and type services.msc that boots that up. The alternative way, if you don't want to do it that way, is control panel, administrative tools, and services. Double click that and it will get you to the same screen where I am now. Let's maximize that. Okay, so here we have all the services that run on your computer. Some are from software that you've installed that enable the software to run on the computer and most of them are from Microsoft, you know, the um, standard services that are installed when you install your operating system. You really want to be careful um, about which services you disable. Um, there are some very important services here which your system needs to run. Um, for example, if we go here to DHCP client, what this does is it automatically retains an IP address from your router. Um, your network adapters use it um, for people who don't know about networks. If you don't have an IP address, there's no way you can talk on the network, um, therefore no internet access. So by disabling that, without some networking knowledge of setting a static address, you'll be pretty much useless in terms of accessing the network and the internet. So I'd leave that how it is. An example of one I would change is uh, in a situation you know where you no longer have an Apple device, an iPod or an iPhone. You've you know you switch to something else. You can turn off the Apple Mobile Device Service. Um, the way you do this is you right click and go to Properties. You can go to um, Startup Type and Disabled. That will disable the service apply that the service hasn't stopped yet so if you click stop that's completely disabled and completely stopped the Apple mobile device service so what that's done is you know it's freed up some uh, a minute amount of system performance and memory because you no longer have a needless service running in the background um, let's see if we can find another example um, the easiest way to do this, if you sort by uh, startup type, which is automatic, um, you know you can find all the services. So um, the let's find HP SI service. See, I don't, I don't have, I no longer have a HP printer anymore. Um, I don't need one. Um, so I can probably disable that. I don't have any other HP devices um, on my computer, so I would disable that. You know you might not have exactly the same service but for example um, you may if you have a HP print or some HP software running on you might have the HP update service if you've uninstalled that software you can go into services and disable that service because you no longer need it um, okay uh, I, I hope you found that informative if you have any questions please just leave a comment um, also leave some feedback if I can improve anything it's uh, greatly appreciated um, thank you for watching